talk about these pictures because it's been a long time since we had anything like this. So what do each of those dots represent? Physics is a great place to start for English learners because we have the least amount of technical vocabulary and everything is just right there, visible to see. So it's easy to take what we can see and convert it into words and numbers and pictures as, as graphs. The students are able to gain a lot of vocabulary and it's vocabulary that you could use in any class, like the word constant or steady or steep. They have meanings in an everyday sense and they have meanings for any class, but we're applying them to physics. So we'll have them in groups, do labs, or projects where they need to write about physics. They need to obviously read about physics, but also talk about it so that they're using their English language skills. So they're really building their academic vocabulary, their personal vocabulary, and learning about science. Ms. Bloomberg like help us to like learn like some English words and we're doing experience but like and we're learning some English like at the same time. Last year I came from Afghanistan. I didn't know how to speak English. Right now I learn how to speak English, how to write, how to how to like listen to teacher. Because when you do an experiment, we use the English word for that. You're writing like this person is moving slowly, then moving uh, quickly away from the origin. They are really smart. I mean, in many cases, they know two, three, four languages. That positive model, like not a deficit model. They're not missing something, they're bringing more to the table and we can learn from them. We try and relate everything beyond just physics class. So, you know, everyone here is from somewhere, in, somewhere else, all right? Or we have some students who were actually born in Arlington and left and who've come back. And so we have them put together their personal motion story, like, how did you get to Arlington? And they tell us as a story with slides and pictures, but then they turn that into a graph, like showing their motion so they can take everyday life and turn it into physics and vice versa. I couldn't do it by myself. Like I know the physics and I've gotten better at teaching English learners and it certainly made me a much, much better teacher. I'm way more deliberate about how I approach everything, but I could never do all of these things that, that Justine and I do together. paper. This paper has some statements and questions. Today we're starting uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, we started off with the pre-reading strategies, so the questions were kind of pulled through the themes. I'm also a second language learner and I also was in the EL classes, so I think seeing myself through them and seeing what, you know, what could have been done when I was in the English language class, I'm trying to give them that, but more. It is very important because we have a lot of uh, students coming from all over the world and we are striving to provide the best education for them. Uh, and we are trying to put them in classes with general education students, having uh, instruction both in English and support in their native language when possible. When we discuss together, we like see each other's minds. We see how I'm thinking, how my friends are thinking. And then at the end, we discuss like the idea and we see if we have the same thing. I think I'm learning English because like when we like do our conversations together, it makes me talk more, not just write, so that's why like my accent changes. I like that type of teachers like Ms. Manzano. Uh, this class uh, helped me so much with English, mostly here because, well, now I can speak English a little bit better than I did in middle school. So I think, yes, this has helped me so much. I think they all are a great group of kids and I feel like they all try to help each other out and they get their desire from each other and also from myself. Us working together and them relating to me, I love doing it. Like I love working with them. This is like, I love this job. <laughs>